Hello, welcome to this tutorial on how to add forces and interactions in step. In this tutorial, we will look at how to add forces. Click on Applications, Education and scroll down Step to open it. This is where you would open the Step application. For an introduction to STEP, please see www.spokentutorial.org. In this tutorial, I have worked on Ubuntu version 10.04 LTS and STEP version 0.1.0. In this lesson, we will do the following. Add springs, simulate a linear motor, simulate a circular motor, add gravitational forces and add a tracer. Now we have opened the step window. In this window, we will now add a box. The size of the box can be changed by clicking on the properties panel and changing its size here or by clicking on the box and dragging along its outline. I have now changed the size of the box. We will now add a linear motor. A linear motor provides a force that acts on the box. I have added a linear motor by clicking on it. We can define the value of the force in the properties panel here. Now we click on simulation. We will see that the box moves with a uniform linear acceleration given by the second law of motion. The blue arrow indicates the direction of force and acceleration. We also see that the box begins to rotate. Why is this so? This is so because the linear motor is not at the center of mass of the box. Now we will save this simulation as forces and interactions. I am waiting for the save as dialog box to open. We will now save it as forces and interactions. Now we will delete the linear motor. A component can be deleted by clicking on the world scene and deleting it. We will now add a circular motor. I will delete this box and add it again so that we can add a circular box, circular rotor. Now I am adding a circular motor. And as usual, I can set the properties of the circular motor, the torque value in the properties panel. Now we will click on simulate. We will see that the box will rotate counterclockwise. Now we will remove both the box and the circular motor. We can also delete the components by clicking on the world scene itself. So we will click here, delete the circular motor, we will click here and delete the box. Now we will add two discs and connect them with a spring. We will add disk 1, we will add disk 2, we will redefine the size of the disk. And connect them with a spring. We will now move one of these disks and simulate and see what happens. I will give one of these disks a velocity in the positive x direction. When I click on simulate, 
I see that the spring moves back and forth. Now we can stop the simulation. We saw how two particles when connected by a spring behave. Now we will delete these disks and spring and add particles and, the, and a gravitational force. We will now add two particles to the world scene. We have added two particles. Now we will add the gravitational force to the world scene. Now we will also redefine the mass of the first particle to be 10 to the power of 10 kilograms. You will notice that this red arrow indicates the direction of the gravitational force experienced by the second particle towards the first particle. We will also redefine the color of the first particle now which can be done in the properties panel here. We will choose red for the simulation. We will now add a tracer to the second particle. Tracer is a component that you can add to a particle to track its trajectory or to track its behavior during a simulation. If you scroll down the palette, you will find the tracer here. So we will now add a tracer to the second particle. Now we are ready to run our simulation. You will notice that the second particle moved towards the first particle. The red arrow gives the direction of the gravitational force and the blue arrow gives the direction of the velocity of the second particle. This blue line is the tracer that is attached to the second particle. We have now seen how gravitational force can be added to a simulation. We will now review what we have learnt so far. We have seen how to add springs, how to add a linear motor, how to add a circular motor, the gravitational forces and add a tracer. Now we will look at an assignment to reinforce our understanding. Our assignment is as follows. Introduce two charged particles. One is positive and the other is negative. Add the electrostatic force. Simulate the interaction when both the particles are at rest and simulate when one of the particles is moving. This is how the simulation will look when it is built. We we'll click on simulate. This is how the simulation will behave when we build it. Please build the simulation for yourself to see how the Coulomb force, the electrostatic force can be added in step. I would like to acknowledge the Spoken Tutorial Project, which is a part of a Talk to a Teacher project, supported by the National Mission on Education through ICT, MHRD, Government of India. More information can be found here. Thank you for joining me on this tutorial on how to add forces and interactions in step. Thank you. This is Ranjani Ranganathan signing off. Thank you.